hiking 100 miles across the island of Cyprus. For me, adventure is what you make of it. Grabbing a backpack and setting off into the unknown is a feeling very few have experienced. The stresses of life disappear, making way for our survival instincts. Where do I get water, food and a place to sleep? It's simple yet extremely rewarding. Oh, I'm Liam by the way. So for this adventure, I'll be heading to Cyprus. Starting in Larnaca before heading over the mountains towards Paphos in the southwest. It's just me and what I'm carrying in my pack. Only the basics. Cyprus is full of history. The terrain is varied and the number of paths are endless. I'm looking forward to sunsets, quaint villages and being out in nature. So grab some popcorn, put your feet up and enjoy the journey. took some time next to the coast before I set off over the mountains towards Paphos. Larnaca was full of history, over 10,000 years of people living here. Today it's known as a holiday resort, with its palm tree lined seafront. I started to head out the city away from the hustle and bustle. I was quite glad actually. I walked past an aqueduct built in the 1700s which supply water all over the region. I don't think it's in use anymore though. After quite a bit of walking I was out of the city and in the countryside. The dried up rolling hills went on as far as the eye could see. The hum of distant traffic and the sounds of birds would epitomise what was to come. There was a big Greek influence in the southern side of Cyprus, and further north there was a Turkish influence. With Christmas approaching, this little village were in the festive spirit. There was a Santa Claus which gave passers-by a wave, which lifted my mood. Oh, it is good to get out of the sea. So busy. And right now the sun's gone in, but nice and cool. Great for walking. And uh, a lot of the walk is gonna look like this. So I'll be following a little bit of the road, but there's lots of hills, quite dry. And lots of these shotgun shells. So hopefully a hunter doesn't mistake me for an animal. Luckily I'm wearing a bit of blue and a bit of orange on the pack. So I'll be okay. But uh, yeah, so far Cyprus has been great. Started at Larnaca and uh, I'll be hopefully making my way to Paphos. Uh, it's about 3 pm, so it's November right now, and uh, it goes dark around 4 30 sunset, which is not much sunlight hours at all. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to get up at like 7 am, set off at 8, and it gives me a good eight hours of walking then. So, no lions for me. Can't wait, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I think I've timed it perfect. The previous week was storms, gales. I'm just glad to be out in the fresh air, in the, well, uh, compared to the UK, this is great right now. Having looked at aerial photos of Cyprus, a lot of it is actually like this. I've been trying to find spots where I could camp and there's a central belt of mountains in the middle of the island, but the rest is just this. So these are all separate private kind of farms and fields. So I may just, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to camp, <laughs> put it that way. That's what I'm trying to say. It'll be like a, I have to go up there maybe, something like that. But I am heading towards the mast in the distance. And uh, just keep walking until about 30 minutes before sunset. The sun was dipping below the hills and time wasn't on my side. I think we forget how reliant we are on this big star. It really does dictate everything we do. Some perfectly flat fields with just grass, but there's a house just over there and it's next to the main road. So I kind of want to 
go over that way as well. I'll try, but that would be perfect. I just wanted to keep going. The colors in the sky were out of this world. So there is camp for the night. Found a great spot. The path is just that way. I'm covered by some hills, trees, and some nice flat ground and grass. And now to look at the sunset. Not a bad spot for the first night. Done some good miles already. Now it's time to relax and get some food. It started to get chilly, so the socks went on. So this morning has been crazy. I woke up about 4 a.m. first time, and uh, I just heard doof, doof, right outside the tent, and I found out where I was camping, somewhere up in them hills. It's a hunting area. Kind of makes sense with all the shotgun shells I was finding yesterday. I'm kind of still half asleep, I haven't slept much. <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, it was funny, it was quite funny. They were all cool, like in Cyprus, because it was an English colony in the 20s till the 60s. They all speak great English, so they were like, you're crazy man for sleeping up there. But uh, yeah, they showed me what they were hunting. I had a couple dogs in the tent, he was just sniffing around. But uh, yeah, I'm just glad the sun's out. This kind of reminds me of England as well. Look how beautiful it is. Just the green fields with the rolling hills. Not a bad start. After all of this rolling countryside, I finally come across the town. There was only one thing to do. I looked for a cafe. I sat on a bench in the sun and I just let the world go by. I'm feeling great right now. I've got a nice coffee. I've got a buzz. Blue sky. Sun's out. I've got lots of miles to walk. I love having something to do and having a task I have to complete. <sighs> so many miles to go. That's, uh, that's the beauty of it. But so much variation to this trail I'm taking. Started at the coast, walked through the city, through the countryside, through little towns and villages like that. And then I'll be heading into the mountains soon. So it's just constantly changing, it's great. I'm in the shade. Yeah, uh, because it's the end of November, the intensity of the sun is zero. It's great. So you don't get too hot, you don't get too cold. Got down to about six degrees last night, actually, which I'm glad I had a couple pairs of clothes in my pack. <laughs> but uh, it's great. So over there, where I'm heading in the mountains and there are actually mountains in Cyprus 1,900 meters the tallest so I'll be, uh, I'll be up that soon but uh, lots of countryside to go yet and some dogs the hills in the distance off the welcome change the scenery was constantly changing road walking would eventually make way for mountain trails Just sat in a bus stop, having a quick rest. And over there is a <laughs> Santa and a sled with reindeers and a Christmas tree. But seeing this in a warm place, it just doesn't feel right to me. All throughout the day, the clouds would bring sporadic moments of shade. Whenever the sun came out, I would air my tent whenever I could. But 
Before most towns and villages, cacti would lie in the roads, a world away from back home. Got myself a cheese pastry. I'm not sure what it's called, but it looks nice. And a nice coffee. And I'm sat in the bus stop. There is a supermarket just up the road. So I'll shop there and then make my way out of town. Got myself a couple days worth of food and water. So that's sorted. I'm just heading out of town into the hills it's 3 45 in the afternoon and the sun is just setting not many daylight hours at all so i need to get a move on i'd eventually find the spot it was time to hit the hay In the morning, I was up nice and early. I'd pack away my gear, excited for the day ahead. I set off deeper into the Cypriot mountains. So I'm deep in the mountains now. Not much around apart from a couple of trails. Weather's good. Got some good sleep and quite a lot of incline today so pretty sure i'm heading up there should be around 1400 meters today so yeah i'm not sure what the weather's going to be like up top but if it's anything like this i'll be happy the trails up here were getting steeper and steeper just have a look at that house on top of the hill, overlooking the valley. This climate was ideal for life. The trees and plants were still going strong, even in winter. Just taking a rest on the bench. It's uh, it's around midday. Just taking in the view. I think I start heading that way soon. But I just checked and I've got half a bottle of water, so to ration my water. Luckily, it's not too hot, so I'll be all right. In the distance, you can hear. I think there's some military ranges. There's some smoke in the distance over there. I love the mountain air. I always feel energised being up here. I was following ancient trails that have been in use for millennia. The sounds of the forest made for some easy walking. There was one last push until the highest point of the day. I was heading towards the radio tower in the distance. just stumbled upon a little stream coming out of the mountains. That's the first one I've seen since I've been in Cyprus. No rivers, no streams, no anything. So I think this is a picnic area and hopefully there's some running water. And just up there is the satellite. So I'm quite high up now. There are even toilets. <laughs> oh yes, running water. There aren't many feelings better than that. Being low on water and you find a source. Let's just hope it's <laughs> running. Is that hot water as well? Surely not. Oh, nice. Oh yes. This would be great to Camp at. I made sure to hydrate and fill my bottles up. I followed a windy road all the way up to the top. I 
these views. This is why I do it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to be at the top. <laughs> Just trying to get up here. You don't really think about how much incline you've got to do and how many hills you have to go up and go down, but it makes it all worth it being at the top. Nice and chilly. It's probably about six degrees Celsius. My lips are <laughs> slightly cold. And there's the satellite whatever it is, golf ball on top. I'll be heading in that direction. I made sure to keep my balance on this loose scree. I came across the most amazing church I'd ever seen. It really was in the middle of nowhere. Narrow streets like these would line villages up here in the mountains. Some hours went by and the light had started to fade. I felt content knowing all the miles I'd done in this terrain. Wow. What a view. Just seeing what you've done the previous few hours. Oh, just hurts my legs looking at it. <laughs> okay, so sun's just starting to go down. And there's some flat space up here. So I think I'm gonna call this camp for the night. Got about 40 minutes left of sunlight. And then um, in the morning, there should be a village about 30 minutes away. Yeah, it's right there. Just go down, get some water in the morning. That'll be good. So, yeah, nice spot. Nice uh, breeze coming into. In the distance are some mountains. Okay, let's set up camp. I got blessed with this camp spot and the views were even better. So I've just come outside my tent for a little bit and I looked up at the sky and the stars are out. Just down there is the capital, Nicosia. Lots of other little towns and villages that connect to it. It won't pick it up my camera, but the stars are out, full moon. And just pitch black. It's quite chilly, it's about 8 degrees Celsius. Compared to the day, it's, uh, it does drop quite low. I'm gonna get in my tent. <laughs> it's nice to be in here. Good morning, so it's pretty chilly today, especially up here. I could see uh, some of the clouds just drifting through. You can see over there as well. So uh, I'd say it's about six degrees Celsius. <sighs> I got woken up by Christmas music, Jingle Bells Rock. So I think there's some, must be like a house on one of these cliffs. So yeah, bit of a, 
Happy way to wake up. First of December. So I think I'm heading out the mountains today. I'll be heading into the valley, so it should be a little bit warmer. Slightly busier. And uh, I could do with a coffee because I didn't get one yesterday. Just to, to wake me up. Fatigue is setting in a little bit. Did quite a few miles yesterday, especially up and down. So, yeah, something to look forward to. Oh yeah, there is a house over there. Just behind me. <laughs> so I keep coming across this tree here. And there were little, little like red chilies that grow on it. Up there as well. So strange. Looks like out of a movie. What a strange tree. I've never seen it before. I don't know what it's called. But yeah. The village wasn't too far away, so I went to explore it. There was a Christmas market and decorations all over the place. It seemed deserted. No one was in sight. Myself a nice view while sitting down on a bench. Just come down the valley. And heading down to somewhere over there. There's some houses. Well, it's like a town. So I'll head that way. Should take me a few hours, but the terrain's alright. The weather's good. Blue sky. I was following signs just like this one. Keep on rising higher and higher until I had a view of the valley below. Road walking was on the menu for the rest of the day. I was fine with that though. I could check out the real side of Cyprus. I'd keep walking until the sun was setting. Watching the sun go below the horizon still leaves me speechless every time. Colours like this ignite something in my brain. I'd take this over watching nighttime TV any day of the week. I finally made it to the coast and I am happy, very happy. Um, it's been a long, rough day of road walking. My legs, my feet, they're hurting, but I'm happy. I've got myself. Look at this contraption. I asked for a local chicken kebab kind of thing and this is what they gave me and um, there's fries in there too so oh, my mouth is watering just have a look <laughs> got myself a local Cypriot beer it's very windy I'm just hiding behind some kind of rocks uh, sun's just gone below the horizon man I, I just feel elation it's, uh, it's just about to get dark, so um, once it's dark, I'm going to set up because it's, uh, there's holiday resorts all around me. I'm just trying to keep my head down, keep quiet, and then get some rest, and then I'll explore the coast in the morning. But for now, I'm going to read this. Well deserved. <sighs> okay, I'm going to tuck in. I've just had my kebab, it was amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. I've got myself a local Cypriot beer. Kyo, Kyo, Kyo. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I do apologize. Oh my, tell you what, beers at the end of these trips, they make it all worth it. Oh, they're so good. Nice, sweet, cold. Cheers, Cyprus. A kebab and a beer, you cannot beat that. 
but I am extremely happy. So it's give me like five minutes and it will be dark. So it's getting a bit chilly now. All the miles I'd done were definitely worth it. It was the best way to end it, sipping a local beer next to the sea. It was still dark when I woke up. The wind had calmed down and it was nice to see where it camped. I packed away before Paphos had woken up. I looked back at camp one final time. Good morning, so I'm up nice and early. Me and the morning runners, just along this trail. And I'm uh, heading into the city of Paphos now. It's actually, that's the moon. That's how early it is. <laughs> I actually managed to sleep really well. The sound of the sea. Just knowing I don't have to do any more miles. I slept like a baby. <laughs> and then just here, this is what I was looking at last night. So I was down there on the beach just below. And there was this here. And I was thinking about climbing it. And good job I didn't because there was security that patrol around it. And there's like a, I think it's like a, I don't know. It would have been bad anyway. So you know, I'm going to head in, get a coffee and just explore. See what Paphos is like. Let's go. Contrast is needed for me. A coffee in the busy city compared to the still countryside I just experienced. I walked along the seafront and had a look around. The water was clear, almost tropical. Ancient ruins like this were dotted all over the city. Paphos has been in use for over 2,000 years and still going strong. So here I am then at the end of the journey. I'm going to call it here. Behind me I've got the Mediterranean Sea. If you were to keep going you'd probably hit Israel. Amazing weather. What a place. So behind me is Paphos Castle very historic just being around to look at the sea has a population of around 35,000 people which in the UK that's the size of a town so it's really not that busy for a city it's Saturday 10 a.m. should be heaving with people the tip of the coast it's a fitting way to end it I started at the coast and I finish it at the coast yeah I don't know how many miles I, I completed but it was a good amount. I'm feeling it. Pretty fatigued. <sighs> Cyprus, I've loved it. It's, uh, it's, it's like being in the UK, but in some nice weather. It's uh, we same plug sockets, the same. <laughs> they drive on the left-hand side of the road like we do. It's uh, yeah, really good. <laughs> oh. So Cyprus, I don't think I'll forget it. I think I'll have to come back. I want to do more. I wish I had more time. Just uh, has so much. The coast, mountains, villages, cities, towns. Very dry in places, but lots of vegetation in others. Yeah, so many things to see and do. Love it. The beer was great. The kebab, oh, that kebab last night. I may have to get another after I'm finished. <laughs> but yeah, one last look around before I go. So Cyprus, thank you. Paphos, I'm pretty sure it was named the 2023 European Smart City of Culture. I'm pretty sure I've seen a sign for it, so. Yeah, lots of history. So Cyprus and the Mediterranean Sea.
Thank you.